products that actually do the things that they say they will. Where were these when I was 16? I firmly believe that you shouldn't have to spend a ton of money in order to get really good skincare. And this is coming from someone who used to be a telemarketer who would spend every single paycheck on those $90 cleansers at Sephora. And I still had acne. It was hell. Thankfully, there are many products on the market that do not cost an arm or a leg or my one remaining kidney. Cause yes, I've only got one left. And the proof is really in the pudding or in the face mask that you shouldn't have to overspend to have skincare that is fun and effective and easy to use. So let's start with this. This is from Bubble. This is one of my favorite face masks. This is a clay mask called the Come Clean and it claims to help clean pores. It's good for teenage skin that's a little bit more acne prone, but it's not overly stripping and it's hydrating. It's really inexpensive and yes, it does what it says. Now, shockingly, this is like one of the most expensive products that Bubble has and it's still under 20 bucks. Bubble is available at Walmart, which is awesome because of accessibility and affordability. I didn't know there were like 5,000 Walmart stores throughout the US, whereas Sephora and Ulta, there aren't as many. And so for teenagers, especially who are looking to get inexpensive and affordable skincare, Bubble is available, which we are so excited about. This face mask does exactly what my skin likes it to. It helps me feel refreshed. It is really fun to use and it's not overly stripping to the skin. If you are looking for a fun Pokeball and if you have oily, dry, or combination skin, you could use this because when you rinse it off, it does make the skin clean, but not overly stripped. If you are dry, you might want a little bit more hydration though. And that is where we get into this next product. This is the Ceramide Barrier Cream and this is a vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance fragrance-free vegan purple packaging with butterflies on it. Do I need to say that again? This is a fragrance-free, cruelty-free, vegan, ceramide-infused, purple-packaged butterfly cream that is also under $15. How? Is it 15 or is it 16? Cassandra, check yourself. Everything about this is what I've been waiting for from Pacifica. Pacifica has a lot of great products, but they usually are a bit more fragranced. They're a sensorial experience. But this goes onto the skin so lovingly, and I know it's brand new, but my face has already so it up. I could see myself buying a hundred of these. And it really goes to show that you don't have to pay a ton of money for ceramides if you don't want to. And on top of that, you don't have to go to CeraVe who isn't cruelty free. I understand that drugstore and accessibility is super important, but that's why all of these are cruelty free so that we got options. And you know what else is a cruelty free dupe of an acne favorite? This guy. This is the acne free Adapalene gel. And this is basically a cruelty free version of Differin. Differin used to be prescription only. Adapalene is a synthetic retinol that is non-sensitizing. So if you're looking for a prescription strength retinoid that doesn't irritate, overly redden, or cause dryness or flakiness in the skin the way most retinoids do, this is it. And also it's less expensive than Differin and it's cruelty free. Like I wish that I had this when I was a teen. Differin when I was a teen was prescription only. And then you had Epiduo and you had these other products with Adapalene in them, but there really was nothing that, you know, was cruelty free or was super inexpensive or that was accessible. And again, this entire tube is a small and a large, one is under 10 bucks, like you can't beat that. Even prescriptions often cost more than that. And um, if you're looking to try a retinoid, but worried about like the stinging or irritation or peeling of the skin, that is when I would recommend this. I freaking love this. And I just wish that this were around, you know, when I was struggling with my skin. And even if you don't have acne, yes, it's called acne free, but this works on fine lines. This works on wrinkles. As long as you don't get it in the conjunctiva, you can put it a little bit around the eye where those crow's feet are. Just be careful because it can kind of merge, but you can use it for scars, for hyperpigmentation, pigmentation for acne, you name it. Speaking of hyperpigmentation, can we talk about emergency medicine, gunshot wounds, and menstrual bleeding? Yes, you know what we're gonna talk about, and if you don't, let me educate you. <laughs> there is a medication that is used in emergency medicine for hemorrhaging, severe bleeding, and yes, this includes trauma, as in big injury, as well as menstrual bleeding. For those of us, like myself, who have uh, two uh, reproductive systems and bleed uh, way too much, way more than we should. Is that TMI? Sorry. But what's interesting about this ingredient is that it also works on hyperpigmentation and can help with anti-aging and refreshing the skin. We are talking about tranexamic acid. And do you guys remember when companies started putting tranexamic acid in skincare, they had these really gimmicky like Facebook commercials where they were like, erases wrinkles like none other. Now this doesn't absolutely erase wrinkles or scars. This is not a facelift in a bottle, but this is the Inky List's tranexamic acid for literally under 15 bucks. And holy guacamole, this stuff works well. This is a night treatment, but if you are looking for skin support, if you're looking for something that can help boost up scar treatments or hyperpigmentation, this is so good. It goes onto the skin flawlessly. And you know what? The texture actually reminds me of like 
royal jelly. You know, like beehive royal jelly? That's what it reminds me of, but it works so freaking well. And if you do have skin that is really struggling, this is definitely something amazing. Now it's a little bit thick, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it during the day, but it is such an amazing ingredient. And yes, if you have severe bleeding or if you're hemorrhaging, don't go to the inkylist.com, go to the emergency room, but you might be prescribed some tranexamic acid from your doctor or prescribing physician. Fun fact, because if you didn't know, now you know. Now another hyperpigmentation superstar is alpha arbutin. And there's an alpha arbutin from The Ordinary that's also really good. There are a few other ones that I like, but if you're looking for something inexpensive, this is the most bang for your buck. Alpha arbutin helps with pigmentation because in your skin, there's a specific pathway that is used to create melanin, which is the pigment. And this alpha arbutin is actually transformed by your skin into hydroquinone. And these different ingredients can actually work to stop that pigmentation in that pathway. This works so good. It's a really light serum. You can place this onto skin day or night. And this is really awesome to add to a routine if you do struggle with hyperpigmentation, if you're worried about like non-medical grade melasma, if you're worried about pigmentation after breakouts and just wanna prevent that, or even if you're someone who's prone to pigmentation and you know you're going to be in the sun or you're going to be waxing, use it a couple weeks beforehand to try to get your skin to stop producing that pigment so that way it can't spread. I love this. It is inexpensive. It is effective. For alpha arbutin, it is probably the best bang for your luck, for your buck. Wait, for your buck? Yes, I just can't talk today. If you need it, I would recommend buying it. If you don't have hyperpigmentation, I would actually recommend this. This right here is from Yes2, and this is the Watermelon Daily Gel Moisturizer. Now this, unlike Adapalene Gel and Alpha Arbutin and Tranexamic Acid, is not to combat a specific issue or problem. This is to smell and look freaking amazing. If you like the Glow Recipe Watermelon Moisturizer, this is almost an exact replica. It's actually less sticky than the Watermelon Moisturizer. There's a very fun video because yes, it's not just me who thinks this is a great dupe. There are other skincare experts, such as Morgan from The Beauty Breakdown, who really had a hard time telling the difference between this and the Glow Recipe Watermelon Moisturizer. Let me tell you, this is amazing. It smells divine. It has watermelon, it's packed with antioxidants, it's a gel formula, and this stuff is just so good. It is like a less sticky liquid Jolly Rancher for your face, and if you are looking for skincare that just makes you feel good and lets you have fun with your products and with the things that you put on your face during the day, mwah! This is a top recommendation. Now, if you want something that, like the gel moisturizer, is cooling, you are going to love this because it also does what it says it's going to do. This is the Bounce Back Refreshing Toner, and it's more than just refreshing. Again, this is from Bubble, so it's made for teens, it supports mental health, it's accessible, it's affordable, and yes, I use this for my back acne. This is one of the best body sprays and face sprays because it helps you look amazing, but you feel good while you're using it. This really does help my skin feel Feel bouncy and plush and you can spray it throughout the days. I'm in California and right now looks like Pompeii because ash is literally falling from the sky. There are wildfires and my skin freaks out because of it. Do you see this? Like my skin is freaking out because of it and not happy. The bounce back toner helps to literally keep me physically cool but there's also antioxidants in here and things like willow bark that can help with acne and it actually helps to prevent against a small amount of the environmental damage that is constantly raining down in the form of ash onto literally everything out here. And again, one of the coolest things about Bubble is that they are available and accessible to teens. Not only do they support mental health, but they don't cost an arm and a leg. The formulas are really good. The products are actually really fun to use. The packaging is adorable and recyclable. And yes, they are at Walmart. And I didn't even know this until I started working with Bubble, but they did research finding out where people who shop for skincare shop and specifically where teens who are struggling with their skin would go. And these teens said that they felt insecure walking into like Sephora, they felt intimidated. And if they were going to Ulta Sephora, it was like a special occasion. When the brand Bubble looked at this, they were like, okay, teens are going to Walmart twice a week with their parents to buy groceries. They're only going to Sephora once every now and again and they feel intimidated. Why wouldn't we make skincare accessible? Also Ulta and Sephora had like 500, maybe a thousand stores that they could go into, but Walmart was giving them over 4,000 so that they would be in literally every corner where there are teens who need help with their skin. And I think that's really admirable. Again, I have partnered with Bubble in the past. Bubble has offered to partner with us on a portion of today's video, but that does not change my opinions or my favorite products or the fact that this is what freaking 1198
You're saving yourself a whole penny. Now that's lucky. If you're not looking for a spray refresher, you might like a little bit of vitamin C. This is from the Inky List, and this is the 15% vitamin C and EGF, which stands for epidermal growth factor, talking about our skin here. This is all plant-based, again, vegan and cruelty-free as always, but this vitamin C doesn't actually sting. This is one of the most affordable vitamin C products that I've ever used that doesn't sting my face. Because you know, some vitamin C can be very potent. Vitamin C penetrates the skin best when it's at a low pH, but unfortunately that can sting, which we don't always love. If you're looking for a great daily vitamin C that goes under your SPF, gives you an antioxidant boost and an epidermal growth factor boost, this would definitely be it. You know what else is really, really good? Jumiso. Jumiso has a really good and inexpensive vitamin C. I think it's a little bit more expensive than this one, but the Jumiso one also has vitamins A, D, E, and K. It has centella asiatica, so it's also very smoothing. But if you're looking for a bomb ass vitamin C, this one or Jumiso, me so. I, 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 where was this uh, when I was struggling with my pimples in the seventh grade? I want answers. <laughs> I'd like to speak to the manager of this YouTube channel whose name is Doris. <laughs> we spoke about sunscreens and unfortunately there aren't a lot of sunscreens that are inexpensive and do what they say they will, but this one does come in pretty clutch. This one is the Yes2 Avocado Fragrance Free Daily Mineral Lotion Broad Spectrum SPF 15. And yes, this does what it says it does. It is an SPF 15, so I would recommend using it indoors and with any SPF you always have to reapply. But even SPF 15 protects about 93% of the sun's rays. And because this is a broad spectrum formula, it protects against the UVB and the UVA rays, which not all sunscreens do. Remember UVA for aging, UVB for burning. This protects against both. This is fragrance free. It is avocado. You don't need a ton of elbow grease to get this to blend into skin, but you do need a little bit of but overall, if you're looking for a non-irritating, relatively sheer formula, this is it. I was looking at the Ordinaries, it doesn't cut it. Inky List wasn't available here, but I've heard pretty negative things about it. The other one is the Australian Gold SPF 50. Now this one's like $15, but you get a ton of product in there. And this is one of the best tinted sunscreens that I have ever used. It is amazing, it is fluffy, it has shea butter, it is just luxurious on skin, and it looks like skin, while still giving you a little bit of coverage. So if you want something that is tint-free, this, my friend, it's for you. And if you're looking for something that has a little bit of tint, a little bit of coverage, this Australian gold is going to be your best friend. I've partnered with Yes2 in the past. I genuinely love this product and I even love this product even more. But this video is not in partnership with them. And as always, like I literally grew up being the kid who was spending all of my money on acne treatments and products that promised to make me look good and feel good about my skin. And then I was depressed in an abusive relationship, spending all of my money on products that didn't work. It was a bad time. Didn't even even know that I had one kidney at that point. And um, I would never want to go there again. And I know what that feels like at the core of my being, which is why I take my recommendations very seriously, which is also why when I talk about this one, I hope that you listen. This is the salicylic acid cleanser from the Inky List. And man, where was this when I was breaking out? I think the Inky List is like just having their third birthday as well. I can't believe the Inky List is only like three years old. This one can be drying. So if you have dry skin, I wouldn't touch it. But if you have oily to combo skin, this is one of the best acne cleansers on the market. The Salicylic Acid Acne Cleanser cuts through oil so nicely. It lathers up just a touch and it is so good on acne prone skin to fight little blemishes like this one on my chin. I freaking love this. And if you have skin that's a little bit more on the oily side, don't skip it. Don't skip it, it's always sold out. But it's always sold out because it's so good. It delivers on its promise. What else delivers on its promise is this bee oil, as in be happy, be positive, be glowing. This one is from The Ordinary, and the bee oil is really this blend of amazing oils. This has squalene, it has argon oil, it has rosehip oil, it has barrage seed oil, it has a microalgae in it. And if you're looking for an oil that makes you glow, you know, most oils make you glow when you first put the product on. It's because you have oil on your face. But even when you remove this, when you take this off, I found that over time my skin is more glowy. It's more supported. It has a better moisture barrier. Like my acid mantle is protected with this one. It has made my skin better both when I'm using it and when I'm not. And this bee oil is just phenomenal. And fun fact, do you notice that my dropper is looking a little thick. And when I picked this up one day, I was like, oh my God, do I have a counterfeit ordinary product? Like, why is my dropper so freaking wonky? It's like a cow udder. But I realized, do you know what happened? I left this motherfucker in the car and do you know where I live? California. And do you know the heat right now? 
on top of the fires that are burning and the soot that is flying through the air, it's like 102 degrees. So this pretty much melted in my car. This thing must have expanded to the point that it blew up because of the heat and the pressure of the air inside of here. Now I just have a wonky looking dropper and I'm assuming that the product within this is actually probably bad. It's probably rancid or expired, but you know what? Because this is only $9.20 and I had already used half of it, I'm not pressed about it. And while we're on the topic of the ordinary, if you don't know what this is, I don't know you. I'm just not gonna say words. We get it here. But if you're looking to not exfoliate the f out of your face, there are two moisturizers that I recommend. These again are from Bubble and one of these is more for dry skin and one is more for oily skin. But if you wanted to use them both in the same routine, you could use one during the day and one at night. This is the Slam Dunk Hydrating Moisturizer as well as the Level Up Balancing Moisturizer. And holy sh is this a slam dunk for pores or what? Let's actually start with this one, this Slam Drunk Hydrating Moisturizer. It literally feels like a couch cushion. You know how when you sit down on like a really great couch and you just kind of sink in but there's a little bit of bounce to it it's like a slam dunk for your rear and that is exactly what this is for skin it feels like a couch cushion on my cheeks both cheeks no pun intended and this really is an amazing hydrated moisturizer for those who are a little bit on the drier side now even though I'm oily I actually like slathering up with a nice hydrating moisturizer at night it helps me to wake up super glowy and as close to perfect as my blemished scarred unflawed skin could hope to be, which is okay with me. But I absolutely love this and it just feels so good as you rub it in. This has aloe, it has avocado, it has shea butter. And what I love about this formula is that it does have the evening primrose as well as the avocado, which we don't always see in a ton of moisturizers, especially together. So great antioxidants, vitamin E, omega fatty acids, and freaking lovely for my face. But what if you are, like me, a little bit more on the oily side? This right here is the Level Up Moisturizer from Bubble and God, is this a level up for a gel moisturizer. This one, gosh, how would I describe this? This one feels like a hydrating liquefied gummy bear. Like if you want to rub a not overly fragrance, no synthetic dye, liquefied gummy bear into your pores, this is going to be it. This bubble moisturizer is so amazing and especially for daytime use, it is refreshing to the skin, it locks hydration in, it keeps it where it should be and it actually hydrates and moisturizes. I have so many layers of product on my face right now. Both of these are $15 or $14.98 at Walmart and they actually donate to teens mental health as well as being accessible and affordable and doing what they say they will. I freaking love these so much. The little pump tops are very, very fun and they are one up by almost none. Except for we have this little guy from The Ordinary. He is small, he is unsuspecting, but he is mighty. He is the Pignot. 5% and he is vastly underrated. Pycnogenol comes from pine trees and this really does smell like pine wood chips. This just takes me back. This product is so good and this is an antioxidant serum that actually works so well on the face. This is one of those products that I forgot The Ordinary had and then I was like, why am I not using this every single day in my routine anymore? This absolutely supports skin. It makes my skin feel better both when I'm using it and similar to the bee oil, even when I take it off, my skin feels better and more supported. This is one of the best antioxidant serums and it comes in this tiny, tiny little dropper. Um, it is a water-free formula. Fun fact, in case you just don't like water, then this one would work for you. I just wish that they had this in a bigger dropper. I feel like they could sell me this at twice the size and my face would be twice as happy. But you know what? Honestly, my wallet is happy and I don't even have a physical wallet. I have one of those phone wallet things and I'm constantly like slamming my phone at cash registers. And dude, I didn't realize I'm a little aggressive when I do that. And one time I smashed the thingy like. And the lady looked at me, she was like, do you have anger management issues? And I was like, no, not anymore. That's what therapy is for. But what's even better is that skincare money problems are not causing or exasperating any childhood anger issues because these products are affordable and they deliver on their promises by doing exactly what they say they do. And I am so happy to share them with you. All of my favorites are listed below. The bubble ones are listed literally on a Walmart shelf near you. And um, all of these are listed 
and layered up in my pores right now. Drastically out of order, but you know what? She's got products on her face, and you know what? She's okay with it today. So remember to stay hydrated, reapply that sunscreen, take the like button on a shopping spree to the Walmart skincare aisle, and be beautiful both inside and out. I cannot wait to see you beautiful butterflies in this next video. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.